Hey everybody, it's John Fish with the latest Waste Less Wednesday. This one's another one for the cat lovers and for the people who know cat lovers. You can share this with them. Um, last week I talked about cat food packaging. Well, of course, if you feed cats, you got to deal with the waste. Um, in a previous video, I talked about paper that's coated or laminated with plastic not being recyclable. And an example I showed in that video was a cat litter box. Um, many cat litter boxes have a layer of plastic uh, all around the outside of them. Um, those that bear the How to Recycle label note this. They say check locally coated uh, paper box. Um, those are not recyclable. This is a paperboard type box, a single layer box of paper, but then with plastic on the outside, not recyclable. But even corrugated boxes can have that same plastic coating. Here's another example, coated paper box, even though it's corrugated cardboard. If your box for your cat litter doesn't have a how to recycle label on it, if you take the edge of it and tear it slowly, you can see the plastic stretching. I don't know how well you can see that there, but there's plastic stretching there. On these boxes, um, if they do not have the plastic on them and you want to recycle them, make sure you cut them and fold them flat so they get properly separated to the materials recovery facility. And it's best to discard the plastic handle in the trash too. Those are not recyclable. Um, you can find boxes of kitty litter that do not have the plastic coating then. This is a single layer box that is not coated, so it is acceptable for recycling. This is a corrugated paper box that is not coated, also accepted for recycling. Another option, of course, is bags. So always look for that how to recycle label. This is a paper bag that is acceptable for recycling. Um, some will not bear a how to recycle label, but again, if you tear them slowly, uh, you can see whether or not they have a plastic on them, whether they resist tearing. If they do not resist tearing, they're probably okay. Um, a, an all plastic bag like this, though, is not recyclable anywhere at the drop-off centers, curbside, or store drop-off bins. Just not recyclable. Of course, another option is plastic jugs. Um, jugs like these are number two HDPE, which is a highly valuable form of plastic. Also translucent ones like this. Make sure, though, you shake all the litter out of any litter container. We don't want that litter going into the recycling. Um, and then the final option I want to talk, to talk about is the bucket. Unfortunately, buckets are a particularly rigid kind of plastic. They're also big. Um, it's not really a good idea to put those in the recycling even though in some sense it's made from a recyclable kind of plastic. Um, those obviously can be reused for various things, um, but don't put them in the recycling at any of the drop-off centers or your curbside bin. Um, please share this video. We need your help. Recycling is in crisis. We need to teach people how to recycle right. And of course, particularly share this one with the people you know who have cats. Uh, and we need your help at our drop-off recycling centers too. If you're interested in volunteering, helping patrons learn how to recycle right, uh, go to bridgingthegap.org, click on that recycle button, and you'll get all the details on how you can sign up there. Thanks for watching.